what will happen over the course of the next 66 laps and it's the Spanish Grand Prix in 2022. It's lights out and away we go and it's a fairly even start. Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen, but Verstappen is now coming back and Leclerc who moves over to cut him off. Carlos Sainz has already been passed by George Russell, Sergio Perez on the inside, down into turn one. Charles Leclerc has the lead from Verstappen. George Russell gets tagged but manages to stay on the track. Sergio Perez just clipping his rear tyres and there's Lewis Hamilton on the inside battling away with Carlos Sainz. Does the inside work out well for the Mercedes as we head down towards turn four? No, Sainz is ahead there of uh, Hamilton and now coming round the outside and making contact is Kevin Magnussen and Magnussen goes off to the gravel in the Haas. Lewis Hamilton survives but has he got damage on his Mercedes? He's going very, very slowly around turn five. Leclerc was a little bit to the right-hand side of his start box, actually, but uh, went across and covered off Verstappen immediately. And now Sainz is sort of wrong-footed. He's now lost a place to Perez. And at this point, Lewis Hamilton comes up and uh, George Russell and Perez getting together there as well. And there's the contact in front of him. And now Lewis is on our right-hand side as well. So Lewis, a little bit of understeer on the corner. Coming here. I think, I think the students are going to say that's a, a racing incident on the, at the start of a Grand Prix. Kevin is perfectly within his rights to try to go around the outside. Lewis just grabbed me. He knew what he was doing. And into the gravel goes Carlos Sainz, and there'll be no cheers for that. He's down in sixth place, and at turn four, Carlos Sainz has had a moment, rejoins the racetrack, but he has lost places as he tumbles down the order, and not for the first time this season. Let's have a look and see what happens here. Spawn on his very, own. That's very similar, much higher speed to what happened to Leclerc in the first uh, yes, it is. part of Q3 yesterday. Like a pendulum effect. No, that would kill the dice, take the dice. And into the gravel goes Max Verstappen. Verstappen at turn four, now passed by Russell and his teammate Perez. Verstappen was running in second place, becomes the second car in this race to just go off at turn four, running on its own. I'm assuming it's going to be a, a carbon copy of what happened. Yeah, just a big lazy slide. Yeah. Max info. Uh, the DRS flat did not open last lap. Keep trying. Okay, Max, just so you're aware, DRS did work on the in-lap. So whatever is going on is an intermittent problem, it seems, on Max Verstappen's Red Bull. What's Max Verstappen going to do here? DRS activated, extra pace, accelerating into turn one. Max Verstappen, is he past George Russell? George Russell squeezes through on the inside. Verstappen tries to fight him back. Now into turn three, Russell ahead by half a car length. Going around the outside of turn three, Verstappen leaves the track. Russell still ahead on the run down into turn four. We've not seen too much between these two in terms of attack and defense before, but I am one that wants to see much, much more. Charles Leclerc must wonder where everybody got to this afternoon. But that's a Ferrari going very slowly. That's Charles Leclerc. And that's Charles going Leclerc. Going very slowly. No! 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 No, what happened? What happened? Lost power. A loss of power, a race that was going absolutely splendidly for him. And he is out of the race. George Russell crosses the line. Max Verstappen's DRS is working. This is now a battle for the lead. And George Russell stays in the lead. Meanwhile, Lance Stroll takes a spin after making contact with Pierre Gasly as Max Verstappen now comes into the pits. George Russell will be defending from Sergio Perez as Verstappen now makes his second stop of the race. And this is the closest yet Perez has been. Uh, yes, it is. And he's only got a couple of car lengths as George Russell moves over to the inside. And now Sergio Perez manages to clear that Mercedes and make his way into the lead of this race. Valtteri Bottas. Ferrari power unit has Max Verstappen right behind him. Verstappen just pitted onto the soft compound tyre, absolutely flying here, trying to go around the outside at turn 12. Don't see very many overtakes there. Verstappen had so much grip coming out of turn 11. Beautiful move. And George Russell pits, so he's not going to get the chance to go round Max Verstappen. Mercedes left it until right at the last moment before they could bring George Russell in and 
well, basically avoids any unnecessary wheel-to-wheel -wheel action and give him the second pit stop. OK, you want a different strategy to Max? If he's quicker, we let him through. That's very unfair, but OK. Yeah, he's letting through now. Yes. Um, yeah, that was the point I was making. You know, I say he, he didn't spin off the track, but, um, uh, you know, Max, his tyres are six laps younger. Take him in. Sainz is going to be first to have a go then at Valtteri Bottas, gets past him very nicely, going into turn one, Hamilton has to slot behind the Alfa Romeo, just back out a little bit, going into turn two, Hamilton now fancies his chances to go around the outside at turn three, and does so, Hamilton moves up the fifth, Carlos Sainz moves up into fourth place. Carlos Sainz just trying to break the toe somewhat as they pass the main grandstand, but he's not broken it enough as Lewis Hamilton uh, moves to the outside of the track and then swoops round in front of Carlos Sainz and up into fourth place. So we'll do as much lift and coast as possible. This is a DNF risk. So Lewis, if we have to give up the pace, then we'll have to do that. So avoid full load. This is a DNF risk. And Lewis then, look at this. He's a wow. sitting duck down the straight. Carlos Sainz is all over him listen to that cheer it has been very hot in the cockpit at times the celebrations though will very much be welcomed by max verstappen and red bull as verstappen wins the spanish grand prix and his teammate sergio perez will come home to claim second place and the fastest lap it's a one two for red bull russell takes his second podium place of the season finishes third for Mercedes. Wow. Sometimes you've got to do it the hard way. Hard up, Max. Not an easy start to the race, but uh, we turn it around at the end. So, yeah, very good job also for the team. So the weekend where Max Verstappen wins for a 24th time and takes the lead, Martin Brundle, of the championship. And a championship lead after the Australian Grand Prix was, what, 46 points for Charles Leclerc? How quickly things have changed. The uh, reliability issue today has really turned the championship around. So Verstappen leads by six points and Red Bull lead by 26 points over Ferrari and the constructors.